eye tracking thing that uh, GPT made for us. It's not working very well at the moment. Now, obviously, there's a difference between eye tracking and uh, pupil pupil tracking. So this one uh, doesn't do well. Eyes, it's pretty spot on, especially if there's two of them. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, slowish to respond. If it doesn't see the other eye, it's making assumption that the right eye is the left eye, things like that. But uh, it's a um, very cheap uh, setup. I do have another camera, so I was uh, wondering if I could uh, do a more advanced uh, eye tracking with two webcams. Let me know what you think. Uh, would the uh, second webcam uh, do a better job at uh, eye detection or train like tracking is better yeah so so they call it eye tracking but uh, yeah those expensive system systems they're obviously not just tracking the eyes they tracking the pupil with a single camera what if we do workspace um rewrite based on it's called eye tracking pi file yeah gpt4 can do much better because it can hold context for the whole thing yeah, it's really, I'm sure it will write a much better description, which actually will be more accurate as well. Yeah, I like how this one has uh, links in it as well. That's handy. Yeah, so it's asking to rewrite the HTML description. Again, we can do a workspace. A, can you write a description for this application, including an about section, how to use section, include all the libraries that are being used, and look at the other files like eye tracking python file and main.js to see how the application actually works so the description is as accurate as possible so it's determining uh, deciding which uh, information to collect gathering info yeah, it's used five uh, references i don't know why that won't open maybe when it's finished generating it's again going on about the saccades which we are not uh, doing yeah that's correct how to use no i mean it's running <laughs> it will eventually be uh, running as a fast application so we don't actually we well, might have the requirements file eventually might pop it on um, a github as well uh, we had some issues with the uh, git in general yeah i'm worried more about the first Sophisticated product of leverage webcam based eye tracking technology for remote experiments. Okay. Hard to reach population, maybe. There's potential, yes. Remote eye tracking. Okay. Yeah. Don't like the, any mentions of uh, cognitive tests and things. Yeah, that description is not great. We might get the uh, GPT 4 to write something better. Uh, this man meant to be using GPT 4, but it's obviously a uh, look. Yeah, it did look at these uh, references, but uh, maybe if I delete the current description, yeah, I was looking at the entire code actually. Yeah, I think it will be easier to get uh, GPT-4 to do it. Yeah, obviously it will have to be calibrated somehow. Currently this button doesn't actually work. There is a suggestion as to how a calibration system could have worked. See, one eye is a bit off. And quickly uh, correct it here, I would imagine. Double integer tuple, 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 tuple. I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, yes, yeah, it's uh, working for some reason. It's working really well. But uh, yeah, it's always interesting. Uh, the right, it's uh, when I move to the right, it's tracing really well. When I move to the left, it's lagging. It's really interesting. Must be something in the code. Again, this type of context is uh, better for uh, GPT-4 to handle. Yeah, obviously if you cover, you can try and swish your <laughs> eyes, eyes away. By the way, that's obviously what the NVIDIA eye tracking thing, that the eye replacement thing does. It just draws your eye onto this uh, uh, little things. Yeah, you can make them smaller and potentially have a circle uh, around them. Get something more, slightly more sophisticated. And process frames. Yeah, we use the face mo uh, face mesh uh, model. 
is from uh, media pile yeah one um, a red dot over the pupil and a blue square over the entire eye right so now i have this a uh, blue as uh, squares and the eyes are still inside and I have this and if it can obviously it can recognize what's going on in here it's like can you find any issues uh, with the output of uh, this code the pupils are not properly detected is there a better way of doing this it asks for a new uh, function so extracting the region of interest convert to grayscale and finding the darkest point and returning the location of the darkest point yeah those uh, magic numbers obviously they will uh, make the script not generalizable so if you use a different camera different angle it might not work anymore we happy to try it out so it's hopefully should correct the circles and processing frame so instead of eyes we draw a pupils we do it in um yeah we'll keep the red dots where they are and in addition should have the uh, green ones where the pupil is right um yeah well this is working surprisingly well <laughs> the, whole, the whole one keeps flickering around it's like a lot of the shop so it's working <laughs> i don't know yeah it's really funny like one eye is perfect maybe there's something wrong with my eye someone has someone else has to try it as well which one is it this one works oops yeah well, that's a edge condition when only one eye is visible. So yes, it would not work. But yeah, it works uh, almost perfectly. <laughs> not perfectly, but like ninety percent with one eye, and a bit funny with the other eye. So I guess the red dots are just the center of that square. Yeah. So the one of the good seem to be working ways to go about uh, developing is uh, using gpt and then essentially generating prompts for github copilot to use seem to work well and now both of them are jumping around maybe another example is it the same or different well i can't tell because i can't look at the camera and the screen at the same time if you had the nvidia what's called the uh, thing the correction i guess correction whatever then you can <laughs> but that's fake i have two examples if i turn on the light no it's still the same okay so that's what the um, copilot made this code for us should have oops yeah we have this two two examples yeah, there's a couple of things so um one eye is working better than the other like this one especially when i do this kind of both of them work might be the light yeah i have light coming from three different sources so that might um, make a lot of difference yeah this one works much better as you can tell but um, yes, we're going through a couple of improvements. Uh, had some prompts, so we might update the find pupil function. Looking at the ROI in the same way, uh, turning to grayscale. Set alpha circles, hue circle transform. We we'll have to read about that. Might as well comment this out just make the whole thing a bit smaller okay, pop that in for find pupil no yeah 
I'm getting this uh, a fatal error. No. Have to restart the application if I make any changes to the eye tracking Python code. Okay, it's not much better, is it? And then, poof, NP not defined. What? Oops. That's obviously broke. We have um, NP is uh, what? NumPy. Anything else? Minimum values not being used. Try this again. Yeah, so the red just stays in the center of the eye. Now this one works really well. That one not so much. And I also have like two cameras. I'm thinking if I should use the second camera like for correction or something. That's the kind of stuff we can fix with um a copilot. Apparently we just don't need that variable at all. The app is not currently running. There was another a mean value is not used. We select the whole code, pop it in. It's finding the darkest point. Should be working okay. It doesn't really matter if I have it there or not. We do need to run the application. Yeah, I'm just surprised. That one eye is always better than the other. Maybe it's something with my eye. I need someone else uh, testing this for me as well. Yeah, we'll need to rewrite this uh, description as well. The GPT currently only has access to um, to the eye tracking by Python code. So I'm thinking a controller for the a fine pupil size of the ROI. Yeah, you want to control all the magic numbers on the page. Yeah, it's always that one eye is working better than the other. Be on bionicaos.com. Hey, go check it out if you haven't done so already. There's a lot of tools that you might be interested in. The more recent ones are up the top. And some of the old uh, ones at the bottom really do not work anymore because we haven't transferred them into Python. There's still um, LabVIEW. The videos are where the tool is actually working, like the neural net and the fuzzy logic, this annotation, statistical analysis. So these four, they were originally written in LabVIEW and they do not work anymore because we, well, don't have the license. Migrate, migrating everything into Python. The new tool that will come up will actually combine uh, this ECG game and the fuzzy logic. It's called the CardioQuest bot. That's what the code looks like. And yeah, we need to turn it into a Flask application.